Hey folks, so I got a package. I'm assuming you can tell where it came from. And one thing I'm going to warn people about is if you happen to be on a rather limited budget because there's a pandemic and that's having an impact on many people's, you know, incomes, definitely my own. You probably don't want to log into eBay on your phone, especially if you're a little impulsive. Or you'll end up with multiple packages showing up at your doorstep. Because, you know, you just got to tempt that whole thing. Of, Maybe they'll accept this obscene small amount of money, and sometimes they do. Sometimes I think some sellers just want to get rid Actually, the sellers list the same item a few times. They'll sometimes take a lower amount than you'd expect. And, you know. and you end up with packages showing up, like I said. I need a new knife, sharp knife. Probably one of this crap. Since when does eBay have its own tape? Is that a new thing? It can't be a new thing. Okay, let's see. Oh, we got packages within packages. Oof. Should work off my COVID 15. I'm down and I even waited, so I can't do that. How does this feel heavier than the rest of the package? That doesn't, I know that doesn't make any doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe it's because I'm really out of it and tired and I don't feel like it. Who knows? Okay, so we got a package. We're gonna package. Than a package. Let me before I toss this box out of the way. Let's see what else is in it. It's more cardboard. Piece of paper. Great. I thought I muted that. One thing you really don't like about the, what, Android 11 here, probably happened earlier too, but you can't, at least on the phone I have, by default, it only changes the media volume, not the notification volume. I haven't found a way to fix that. Well, they said they were vintage. They weren't joking. I think I'm wearing gloves or I'd probably end up tet tetanus. Okay. Yeah, that stuff. I'm gonna have to fumigate after this. I mean, what the? What is this? Gross. This stuff's going right outside the trash. Slaymaker key. That's interesting. One. Tumblr, Master Lock, something 900, could be a 3, could be an 8, could be another 9, also a Master Pack. 
Master Lock number three. Very old Master Lock number three. Lock with a S on it. You should be able to see that. Slaymaker made in USA. Slaymaker key. I don't think these are going to go together. No. Can you sue somebody if they mail you bed bugs? Cause I'm getting a little paranoid. Ray Russ win. These are nice little lots. Hopefully, it came with a key for it. None of those are Russ win keys. I know what Russ win keys look like. We have a warded Slaymaker. This isn't going to fit. What am I trying at? Why not? Not a good answer. Must be another Slaymaker. I cannot really make that out. But Master Lock number one. A sergeant. Man, I hope that came with a key. I am not good at picking those. Master lock, really old one. I think ancient. I think in the picture it showed this one having a working key. Not that working key. Let me try the smallest one and see. Corbin, cabinet lock, another old master lock, master lock 55, says 55 here, says 36 here. Now, the downside of relying on natural light for my videos, which is what I've been doing recently, is that it's not consistent. Bunch of locks, they're all wired together. Man, this stuff is rusty. Do these keys, any of these keys go to any of these locks? That's the big question we've got now. Uh, yeah, no. Okay, so this says Flamemaker on it. That has teeth. No, it's not a Flamemaker. Hopefully in a follow-up video I can show that, yeah, those keys do actually do something. I'm not positive that's going to be the case. Now I'm getting why they uh, took an offer well below the asking price.
Not a master lock. What's the other one that looks just like it's a bigger version? Master lock number seven. Reese. Now, oh, any of these keys this is going to work with anything. Oh. Slaymaker Warded Key. Bent Slaymaker Warded Key. Master lock and all it says on here is 253. These are old. Another Rustwin. Rim cylinder. The other side of the Rustwin rim cylinder. A comet. It's a cute little lock. Mm. Crunchy. And a master lock number three. So, let's try to remember not to buy any locks for a while. This is going to be interesting. Okay, well, uh, if anybody's still watching, I might as well just keep trying to find a. Kind of wind down that. Obviously, don't go together. I don't think any of these keys got any of these blocks. Awesome. Wondering if the seller got annoyed with me for paying so little. Although, I definitely don't feel like I underpaid at this point. Anyway, let's see how many blocks we got here. We got 24 locks, and five keys. It may or may not go to anything. Okay, so we do have one working warded key for this sleigh maker. Obviously, that's not going to go to anything. Can I already try this? I just can't see what I'm doing off camera there. Sorry about that, folks. These aren't master lock keys. What am I doing?
Okay, well, I think checking the cues for these locks is going to take a while. It's already been 16 minutes. No, 15 after I edit out. Alright, it's been 15 minutes. Okay. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to go scrub my hands and scrub a bunch of stuff and throw a lot of crap out of the house before I find out I get bugs. Thanks for watching again. Uh, have a good day, everyone. Bye.